Hi everyone, really good to see you again. Where are we today? We've come to Pottersbury. Now that's not far from Northampton and Towster as well. Now we're going to a calf that is really, really famous for a couple of things. One is its sausages, hence the name, the Super Sausage Calf. And the other thing is, it's got lots of bike shows here weekends. So if you're into your motorbikes and what have you, lots of shows weekends. They also do their own homemade burgers as well. So I'm really looking forward to this. And look, that made my mind up what exactly what I'm going to have. As always, let's give it a go. Okay, so we've had to come outside, um, quite literally a couple of reasons. One, the music's quite loud in there, and two, it is jam-packed, and I do mean really packed. When you go in, the memorabilia on the walls, they've got all the, the most famous uh, motorbike, motorcycle riders, you name them, everything looks incredible in there. Now, it's got a really extensive menu. Unfortunately, I can't remember everything, and I haven't got the, the menu to hand. The menu's actually on the board. So what you do, you come in, you queue up, you uh, place your order, uh, find a table, and they bring the food to you. Now, what I've done is I've gone for their full Monty, so their huge, great big breakfast, which comes with Lincolnshire sausages, so looking forward to that. And I've also ordered one of their um, burgers as well. Um, I'll come to the price later on, but just to give you an uh, insight, it's 14 95 for the full Monty breakfast. And interestingly enough, that comes with toast as well, and a cup of tea. Now that is a proper, strong cup of tea, really like that and uh, the burger itself is £8.95 now you can actually add it with fries and bacon you name the whole thing it's on the specials board there but I've just gone for the for the burger as well so yeah looking forward to this one can't tell you what the vibe's like in there it's a it's an excellent vibe and I've, I, the other thing I've got to say is I've gone from having the most expensive buffet to the hottest uh, curry known to mankind and I feel kind of laid back here very relaxed it's uh yeah, it, it's nice. Uh, I've got to say, it's not particularly cold. It's um, it's fresh. It's a fresh kind of day, but this is a, a nice covered area. So uh, yeah, no problems at all. I'll see you when the food arrives. Looking forward to this one, especially the sausages. Award-winning. You know, there's a plaque up there that says where they they do some of the best sausages ever, kind of thing. So clearly, they are they are award-winning. Okay, I'll see you when the food arrives. Okay, so my full Monty has arrived, so take a look up on that. Now, something you'll all notice, I've got some of the old dreaded mushrooms. Now, I'm not gonna try them, unfortunately, because obviously I don't like the mushrooms. However, I want you to see exactly how the breakfast all comes. So, you have your two Lincolnshire sausages, some uh, tomatoes there, a couple of hash browns, beans, three slices of bacon, a couple of eggs. Look at the size of that black pudding. That is a proper slice of black pudding. And underneath, your fried slice as well, cut in half. What it comes with is uh, two slices of toast and plenty of butter as well. And the butter's from Litchfield's salted butter portion. Now, presentation-wise, that's a big plate of food. I also, I'll move that there for a second, 
I also have the burger here as well. A nice portion of fries there. Oh, sorry, did I say fries? They're chips. Um, Wow, well, they're nice. Nice golden colour to them chips. Better finish it off. So you've got the burger there as well. It's in a brioche bun. I know quite a few of you don't like brioche buns. Don't worry, that's not a burn mark on there. That's where they stamp it on top. And it comes with some mayonnaise as well. Now a lot of you might say, Gary, why do you order so much food? Well, clearly the cameraman's gonna to have to help me out here. This is the full Monty, and I like to get the full Monty view of what's available. So for my end, it's showing you what um, they do. It's a homemade burger. Um, so yeah, wanted to get the burger and obviously the full breakfast as well. So without further ado, let's dive in. First of all though, let's put some pepper on there and my brown sauce. Come on, that's it. And I want to start with the sausages. So you've got to remember, they're award-winning sausages, Lincolnshire sausages. Just take a quick close-up on there. They look nicely grilled. And it's cut in. Take a look on the inside there. Lots of herbs. Now let's try it. A sausage makes the breakfast award-winning. They are absolutely incredible. Excellent meat content in there. Taste the herbs in there, perfectly cooked. That is a good sausage. Mmm. Just gonna move the black pudding over there. Move one of these eggs out of the way as well. Let's cut into this. Yep, beautiful colour to that yolk. Take a close up, that is an excellent colour. And try that with the fried slice and move that there. You hear the crispness of that fried slice. Very good. Only a little bit of disappointment there. Let's take a look on the other side of the fried slice. That's a little bit overdone. And strange enough, the other one is absolutely perfect. Again, slight complaint, the egg's just slightly overdone for me. But again, excellent flavour. Now, I just had a quick look on the other side, and actually, the piece I actually got was the only bit that was really kind of, um, if you like, burnt. The other thing, bear in mind with the fried slice, can't have too much of them, the arteries and all that. Cool. Now, let's move that over there. Let's have a look at this bacon. Let's cut in. Back bacon. That bacon is excellent quality. It's smoky bacon as well. And I think cooked to absolute perfection. Now, the thing I love is my black pudding. As I said earlier, huge, great big thick slice there. Let's cut that in half. The thing that's the smells that are coming off this plate are excellent. Really, really nice smell to it. And it's all very, very hot as well. Mmm, it's creamy. Take a close up there, just see the way it falls away. That is top draw. Top, top draw. Let's try one of the hash browns. I'm gonna have the hash brown with a bit more black pudding. Hush browns could be done just that little bit more. You can just see there, they're just kind of a little bit squidgy there underneath. Now, I always like um, fresh tomatoes. Would you prefer fresh or tinned? They're tinned tomatoes and they're very, very tasty. Now, try some beans. Hmm. Them beans are really juicy. Nice beans. And finally, the mushrooms. 
Nah, 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 nah. Not doing the mushroom bit. So, as a plate of food, very impressed. Only thing is, a couple of things are slightly overdone. I'm going to try the other egg here. You can see, yeah, just slightly over. Hash browns could be a little bit crispier. But apart from that, well, the star is these sausages. They have got an incredible flavour. Award winning, yeah, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. That is an excellent sausage and that makes the breakfast. Really good, really good. I'm impressed. So you've got to bear in mind, it's $14.95. You get a huge um, mug of tea, a nice strong mug of tea. A couple of slices of toast as well and loads of butter. I mean, it's not bad, is it? Do you know, value for money wise, certainly not bad. And what I do like is it's all in. So you're not paying the extras for your tea, you're not paying extra for toast and all the rest of it. So it's one complete meal, $14.95. Like, you can't knock that at all. And look, I'm sorry, on the mushrooms there, look at the flavor, look at the color of the mushrooms and look at the size of the portion as well. You can't knock that either. Yeah, is it the best breakfast I've ever had? Probably not. Am I impressed? Most definitely. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the burger here because the cameraman's gonna have the burger. Now, excellent portion of chips. Now just move them over there for a second. And you've got the uh, mayonnaise there. So that's a proper knife, isn't it? Let's take that off. Let's so we'll cut that in half. So let's take a look at it falling apart. So you've got the lettuce, you've got the onions, tomato, the burger itself. Portion wise, it's a nice portion. It's not the biggest burger I've ever seen, but it is a nice portion. The burger's nice and hot, as you can see with the steam. Let's try it there. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's an incredible burger. I'm gonna take that off. Got a nice portion of cheese in there. Now, they source the meat for the burger from the Isle of Man. That was on the board in there. And they make obviously their own burgers. That is an incredibly good burger. It is very, very tasty. The lettuce, tomato and the onion are all crunchy and fresh. So that's excellent. Let's move that there for a second. Now, portion of fry, the chips. Excellent golden color to them. Mm, really crisp. As I said, golden in color. Now, they're not homemade, they're obviously frozen. It does need some seasoning as well, but I'll let the cameraman do that. All in all, £8.95. For a homemade burger, um, and a proper burger at that, that's really good. Excellent portion of um, chips there as well. So, yeah, I'll definitely come for the burgers. Right, I'm going to pass that back over, and then I'm going to crack on with the uh, breakfast. Oh, dear me, look at the size of this. Okay, I'll see you guys shortly. Now, actually, quite a few of you have asked me, Gary, why do you stick your knife in to the toast. Well, it's to clean the knife, really. And uh, yeah, just, just I don't know why. It's actually a force of habit more than anything else. But the one thing I'll have to say about this breakfast, the other thing I like is you butter your own toast. So if you don't like butter, then yeah, you're laughing. But portion wise, look at the portion there of them mushrooms. Unfortunately, I don't like mushrooms, as you know, but. Um, Portion wise, that's excellent, isn't it? You know, because normally you go into the, um, these cafes and the portion's really, really small. And yeah, I mean, yeah, that's an excellent portion. I mean, I, I haven't done a, a breakfast video for a, for a very long time. So um, from my end, I think that's an excellent portion. And now I'm going forwards, I think I need to actually order mushrooms just so you can actually get a full view of um, what is actually available. So yeah, I learned from that. Okay, I'm going to finish up here. And I'll see you guys shortly. And I think the cameraman's enjoying his uh, uh, burger and chips as well. 
not lasting very long anyhow. Okay, had a little bit of a wander around. Uh, the weather's perked up a bit, nice and sunny, but very, very windy. So we've had to come back inside again. Now I want to say a little bit about the restaurant itself. It's got a huge, great big car park here. There's room, I'd say at least 70, 80 cars. So um, there's no issue parking, that's for sure. And um, yeah, the TT pit stop, I know what that's all about now, because that's where the toilets are. Pit stop, toilet, all that. A little bit of the restaurant inside, the memorabilia. Looks fantastic. Most of the pictures there are all signed by the, the famous uh, motorbike riders and what have you, world champions, everything. And the staff, really attentive, very nice people. And uh, again, I keep going on about the staff at times, but very, very well done. Excellent staff. Now on to the food. Uh, portion wise, excellent portion there. Unfortunately, the eggs were just slightly, slightly over and the hash browns could have been just that touch better. But portion wise, excellent. And as I said earlier on, to get a cup of tea in there as well, or mug of tea, a proper mug of tea, and a couple of slices of toast, all included. Again, I'm sorry to keep going on about the mushrooms because I don't like mushrooms, but I thought that was an excellent portion of mushrooms as well. Now the burger. The burger, a homemade burger, as I said, they source all the meat from the Isle of Man, they make it themselves. Only criticism I have, it could have been that touch bigger, but then saying that, you can actually get a bigger burger in there as well, you just have to pay a little bit more for it. Um, bit into it, it was juicy, it was an excellent burger. The cameraman, he wafted it down no, no time at all, really, really enjoyed it. As usual, before the score, the bill, um, 14.95 and 8.95, it's very, very simple. Um, Mark. Do you know, I actually really enjoyed it in here. The service was excellent, I had a real good feel about it. Was it the best burger I've ever had? No. Was it the best breakfast I've ever had? No value for money wise? It was pretty much up there. Was it the best sausages I've ever had? Yeah, I've got to say, it was the best sausage. I'm going to give it an eight and a half out of 10. I'm going to give it an eight and a half out of 10. I think that's well deserved. Now I've got to say, summer wise, definitely a place to come to and I've got to say weekends I'd imagine this place has got a massive vibe to it with all the motorbikes here and you know I'd, I'd say it's very very busy so yeah do you know something the super sausage calf you've done a super job a real super job give it a go definitely worth coming here and giving it a go now as always if you could like and subscribe to the channel you know I always appreciate that and until next time Cheers. It's actually gone a little bit cold to be honest. Wouldn't have had enough of that. Bye bye.